right. Yeah, this thing's going quick. Get ready. Second thrusters engage now. Disengage. Do something. What am I doing? <laughs> Everybody, a big apology to Peter and his loved ones for blowing him up. God, I don't know what I could have done differently. Today, I'll be performing a bunch of very important science experiments to increase our understanding of space. Experiments like seeing how a vat of goo behaves at different altitudes, or playing in the dirt a hundred feet away from our space center. Every successful science experiment gives me science points that I can spend on cooler rocket pieces. And yes, we may lose a few innocent people along the way, but I think they would die proud knowing how cool the explosion looked. This was live streamed, so if you like the videos, come check out the streams. Unless you want me to put you on the first manned mission to the sun, the choice is yours. Okay, guys, this I'm not gonna lie to you, this ship looks pretty stupid. But every great scientist must start somewhere. You think they were sending guys to the moon on a cool looking ship? No, it probably looked dumb as hell. Wait, let me do a quick Google search really quick. Okay, guys, it looked cool as hell. This sucks. The moon rocket looked so cool. Alright, mine looks just stupid. I don't think anybody- I don't even think a baby would go to space in this thing. <laughs> oh well. Why is everyone saying Joe? Joe Mama? Why don't I give you the time of day? Wait, could I just climb out here? Whoa! He's dead. <laughs> Jebediah! No, he's probably okay. Yeah, see there, he's good. He's fine, guys. All right, let me get back up in his rocket. Wait, why did I get out? I didn't put a ladder? <laughs> Dang it. Can you imagine if I got all the way to the moon and then I tried to come back and I didn't have a ladder? <laughs> like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. I do have my jetpack out. <gasps> oh! Oh. I have knocked my ship over, but the good news is I think I will be able to climb back into it. Careful. Careful, Jeb. A big drop, little man. You don't want to hurt yourself. Perfect. Okay. New problem. Uh... Eh. Hey, there we go. Whoa, 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 up, 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 up! God, look out! <laughs> I kill him. <laughs> I didn't even get to check the goo. All right, a lot of stuff learned here today. Hey, okay. we've got to make sure we do our experiments as well. Super easy to not do those experiments. Let's go. Okay. Open this. Observe the goo. We're gonna simultaneously observe this other goo as well. Double the goo, double the... Okay, looks like we can only do one. Okay, the, the goo jiggles and wobbles. That's good. You know what? This is valuable data. And guys, we did get even closer to the galaxy just now. We went a lot farther than we did before. Perfect. And look how happy Valentina is. All right, flip this bad boy back over. And let's see how we're doing first person point of view. Yep, the little thing's spinning, that's good. And gentle touchdown incoming. Boom, couldn't have done it better myself. Oh wait, I did do it myself. All right, let's send this data in. Mission control, do you read me? I am about, I am about half a mile away from you over in this field. Did you get that information about the goo? Yeah, I think they're, I think they're, I think they're receiving that. All right, cool. Oh my God, 12 science unlocked. Save. We are on a mission to kill every living being in the universe. <laughs> All right, guys, we are well on our way. And we are gonna, we're gonna update the Killinator right now. Double the fuel tank, maximum fuel. We are going to, uh, we might even end up on Jupiter if we're not careful. All right, command pod. Throw one of these bad boys on there. And you know what? I'll put the thermometer on there for a new experiment. We're gonna test, guys. We're gonna test the temperature of the sun. I think. Throw that on right there. Yeah, it's everything you loved, you knew and loved about the Killinator, but this time even cooler because there's two fuel packs on it and a very expensive rocket that I've bought and spent all my money on. Let's load this thing up with Valentina 
and let's get out there. Whoa. The size of this thing. I think the only thing that would have made it a little bit cooler is if we added even more fuel tanks, but that's, uh, you know what, we can, we can test that out in a future version. Yep, I'm um, looking over here, guys, at our staging, and everything looks great. I don't know anything about how staging works. I have no clue what any of that means. All right, let's get out there and go! Something weird happened. I like broke the nose off. I decoupled it before it was ready. Okay, I think I got my order wrong. Yeah, this sucks. We're gonna revert it. And we're gonna try again. I got my order wrong. Okay, guys. I think it's about time we get the hell up there. T minus three. Two. One. Whoa, I knew this rocket was a good idea. Look how cool that is. All right, I'm getting ready to decouple. Are you ready? Decoupling. Whoa, mama. That like speed boosted me, I think. Oh wait, we have to do our sp space experiments. Where's that th thermometer? Where's the thermometer? Guys, I decoupled the thermometer. The thermometer, no. What the, oh, the oh I broke the ship. I broke the Killinator V2. It's okay, we're not gonna die or anything. We've got, whoa, dude, this'll be fun. Can you imagine being in this cockpit? Yeah, this'll be a good time, I think. Dude, the best possible use of that emote I've ever seen you guys use. How many G-forces would it take to kill you? Oh, hey guys, did you hear that? That was the remnants of our beautiful ship we spent so much money on breaking. All right, another successful mission. I didn't get any science data though, so that freaking sucks. I got 0.1 science from that. They're like, yeah, nice moron, you broke everything. This experiment, what we're attempting to do in this experiment is get up into the air, test and see how hot space is, and then get back down in one piece. Valentina, are you ready? Yep, I think that means she's ready, guys. Let's go. We're cruising at a very flat altitude or something. Oh, we're starting to curve, guys. I think that might be due to gravitational pull or something. All right, decoupling in three now. And uh, we now we're. What did I do? What did I do? Guys, I did something stupid. Thermometer! <laughs> Log temperature. No, the parachute's gonna stop us, guys. Fear not. Alright, let's come down to a gentle halt here. Oh, there, damn it. That is. It's okay, we didn't need that. Hey, that's what the taxpayers are paying us for. To blow shit up! In yeah, let me try to e EVA report these uh, thermometer findings. Wait, guys, look! We idea. So they'll know we've been here. Site name? Pizza Planet. Like from Toy Story. Wow, and in what, what a beautiful view we have of our space station. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much science we've got from that. 13! Oh my god, guys! The science never ends! I'm gonna use the island airfield. Wait, no. Yeah, let's try this. Ready for launch. Oh, where the hell? This... what? Guys, no, I thought this was gonna look so much cooler over here. This sucks. This looks like someone's, like, backyard. Whatever. There's not even any runway or anything. Like, I'm just in the dirt. Go! All systems nominal. How's it looking, Valentina? Good to hear. Right, as soon as we run out of fuel... Oh, decouple! Boost! Oh, yes! Oh, oh, experiment. Experiment. First experiment, the goo. Observing goo. Use the other goo? Oh yeah, let's get another goo experiment going. Mystery goo observation? Yes, yes. The goo seems to be getting very cold now. Interesting, guys. It seems like space. This paired with the information I have about the uh, thermometer. 
leads me to believe that space is cold. Val's face? Oh yeah, dude, look at her. She's so happy. She must love space. We're gonna get you home, Valentina. Don't you worry. Oh, things are starting to heat up. Oh, brother. Well, I should probably decouple. Oh, jeez Louise. All right, parachute. Activating. Where's my parachute? My parachute broke off! Oh no. Guys, I didn't get to see, was Valentina smiling when she died? I just want to know that much. She was screaming? Oh, hey, there was the other piece of my ship. You see that back there? Guys, I want you to... Everybody think of your favorite Valentina memory as we move forward. That was really sad that that happened. I did not realize I was going too fast. Flight results, catastrophic fail. Come on, it wasn't that bad. We got some really good intel about the goo. Um, yeah, the mystery goo splashed down hard and was destroyed. See, if we were to have got that back in one piece, that would have been some really valuable information. Oh, brother. All right, guys, let's um, get up there and do this thingy. I think that's what scientists say. Oh yeah, signal strength is good. Yep, we've got a data RX transfer and the direct connection to Space Center, guys. That's so perfect. Um, looks like our stage light is blinking. Let's go ahead and get a readout from Bill. Mm-hmm. The SRF levels are currently covering between 0 0.02 and 0 0.01. Not nominal, but I think we've seen worse conditions. This is gonna be a fair launch, I think. Let's go ahead and get up there and freaking go to space. All right, we're curving hard. I think it's because of that goo canister. I'm gonna try to course correct manually here. All right, decoupling and T minus uh, now. Perfect. And there goes our $30 million bottom half. That's going to make a nice big explosion when it hits the ground. I'm super excited to see and hear that. Yeah, Bill, currently guys, Bill's mood is very happy, it appears. He's smiling like crazy. Let me get, I'm not going to look to the eyes of Bill. What's he seeing here? Oh yeah, what a magical view. Whoa, look, the Bahamas. What, blew up? Oh, it was my piece that I didn't get to see. I didn't even get to see it, dude. All right, we have now come down to a very comfortable 500 meters. Bill looks to be in a good mood. He's just slapping his tummy. Good job, Bill. There are two ways to get science back from experiment transmitting and recovering. Tr ah, Bill! Oh, he's fine. What the hell blew up, Bill? What was that? All right, guys, false alarm. My heart's beating like crazy, but it is... We're, everything's completely fine. Let's place a flag. Oh, jeez, that scared me. All right, current objective. Get over there-ish. Wait, let me see if I can even, like, take a ground sample. Oh. Let's see how this would work. Take surface sample. Okay, perfect. All right, Bill, now you've got the monumental task of climbing back into that rocket that you just jumped out of. Come on, come on, safe, safe, safe. Stay with me. We're gonna have to revert it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to- Oh, wait. RUN! Now guys, here is the question. Do we attempt to do the horizontal flight? It ended badly for us last time, but this time it is pointed directly at the facility. Well, that happened last time as well. Guys, I think I'm gonna be able to pull through this. Let's get Bill back up in here. You lost a fin? I don't need a fin where I'm going. Launch. I think the fin could have probably helped a little. Sorry, Bill. And see that we might not have gotten any science at the top there from that. But I learned a couple things. Yeah, and we also see there's an invisible meter here, guys. We've got our science meter. There's an invisible one called the comedy meter. And I think we probably got a couple points on there. Um, 
Well, we're going to do a little bit of something here where I put a thruster on the decoupler, like so. Boink. And then we put the fuel tank. We'll go the bigger one. And another decoupler. Bob Kerman, it is your time. You are about to be the proud orbiter of a planet. All right, chat, let's do one more check. Boom, decouple, boom, decouple, parachute. We're good. Bob Kerman, today is your day. Go. Oh my God, look how much solid fuel we have. Look at the bottom left. We've got fuel for days. Oh, we are picking up a little bit of heat. No, that's just the sound barrier being broken. If you're not Bob, you're everything's in complete control. Look, he looks a little kind of upset, but He's a professional. All right, get ready to decouple. Decoupling. Angle, we got an angle towards a orbit around the planet. And engage second thruster. What is happening? What is happening? I, I put the thruster backwards. Decouple. This is savable, guys. Bob, Bob, stop rotating. Stop, stop the rotation. I think this makes him stop rotating. No, guys, look, he looks perfectly happy. All right, guys, a uh, little update. Our scheduled course is to just go right up here and then crash back down into the water. So that sucks. Okay, there's a parachute. And we have a successful parachute, guys. I... Oh, my God, beautiful. Do not panic. Everything is fine, guys. All right, let's recover this bad boy. Oh, yeah, look at that, guys. We got halfway around the planet almost. Real far. Guys. Let's orbit the planet. Bob, everything good on your end? Yep, he's looking good, guys. He's looking real happy. All right, let's do this. Things are looking good. We've burned through half of our solid fuel. We're about to have to decouple. Get ready. T minus three, two, one, uh, zero, uh, negative one. Decouple. And engaging second thrusters now. Come on. Come on. Oh my God, we're getting too hot. Youch. Youch. Bob, how you hanging in there? Oh my god, I think I did it! Oh my god, it's space! Bob, we did it! Look out the window, look! Well, now I think we're just gonna orbit around the planet. Um until a later point in which we can help him help him back let's do a goose sample guys oh my god and we can we can take it back to the look watch extend the antenna observe the goo let's see how goo goes in space the goo seems to have clumped into his sphere it also appears to have become brittle whoa this is cool well, yeah, what's our orbit situation? Oh! We did not quite get into orbit. We are more like on a giant, like, uh, arc headed straight towards the ocean. Hey, but T minus three minutes until we get to our apex. I'm going to make Bob think that he's not going to die. Bob, you're looking good. Go ahead and decouple. He's not looking good. Guys, I think he might be dying. Look at him, he's, he's clapping his belly though. He's so happy, he has no clue. He's about to freaking go on a crash course straight through the atmosphere and burn up. Temperature reading? Oh yeah, we didn't even get a temperature reading up here. This is good stuff. Measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite impossible as there is no matter around to be either hot or cold, except the spacecraft and the thermometer itself. 
This is probably going to give the R&D guys something to think about for a while. Wait, what? You can't... You can't take the temperature of space? You can only take the temperature of objects in space? Guys, write that down. We gotta get this transmitted back to the base. And he's like... Bob's like, why don't we just do it when we land? Oh, Bob, I just really want to send it back. <laughs> no power to transmit. Guys, did I get the hell all the way up here and I don't even have the ability to transmit this intel I just got? Oh, brother. Hey, Bob, this is Mission Control. We just got all that intel that you transmitted. Perfectly fine. We're learning a lot of great stuff, Bob. You're a hero. Guys, Bob's dead. There is no universe that exists where we can get through the atmosphere and back onto the planet without Bob burning alive. He doesn't know it, though. Look how happy he is. He's so happy. Bob? You just passed the apex? And you're coming back down, Bob. Prepare for re-entry. Alright, here comes the atmosphere, guys. Bob, things are looking great. You're the president's here. And he's waiting to shake your hand. You're looking good, Bob. You're looking real good. Don't worry, Bob. That was just... That's all part of it. That was the goo canister exploding. That's to be expected. Just hang on, Bob. Hang on. Everything's looking good. Yep. Yeah. He's looking a little confused. Wait. Wait a second. Oh my god! <laughs> Just like I said, Bob. You're gonna be okay. Guys, great. Now I've gotta get the president down here. I told him the president was waiting for him. Ugh. That should not have, like, worked. That should not have worked. I don't know how we're still alive. Whoa. But I'm glad we are. Bob gets to live to see another day. I wonder if I can make, like, an airplane. Let's see how this thing looks on the on the runway. Guys, this is totally possible. Stop saluting. He's gonna be fine. Let me get a good little look at, uh... Alright, left, right, up, down. Alright, so I just have to push space and down, and this thing should be good. Bob, you're making history here. We're about to learn a lot about aerodynamics. I'm gonna miss Bob. What did he do to make you hate him this much? Oh, I'm about to prove you wrong, dude. Ready, set, steady, set, go. Up, 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 lift. Wait, I'm doing the wrong way. No, I'm not. Lift. He's dead. 